First at 530, though, a new bill being introduced at the Ohio State House has caused some commotion. This legislation aims to prevent young people, minors, from accessing sexually explicit material by mandating pornography websites require age verification for use. Now some Ohioans are calling it government overreach. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow breaks down the new restrictions surrounding porn if this passes. One of the most lucrative industries in the world, sex. Pornography is a multi-billion dollar business. Everyone wants to say, oh, I don't watch porn. I mean, everyone does it. It's just a fact of life. And there is content for whatever you're into. And as Mallory McMaster says, anonymity is a good thing. But she adds that a new bill in the Ohio Senate would stop her from going on sexually explicit websites. No one is going to want to create a log of the porn that they watch that can someday be used against them, someday be used to blackmail them. In an effort to crack down on kids and teens accessing porn, a bipartisan group of lawmakers and Lieutenant Governor John Husted have proposed legislation that would require every porn watcher to provide age verification. Once it's passed and signed into law, we'll create penalties for failure to do the age verification component of that, where you're basically trying to sell porn to kids. Verification would be done by submitting a photo of your state ID or by entering your personal information into a third party system that will then run your details through other online databases. Companies would be penalized if they don't comply. This is applying the same rules for the digital world that we already have in the physical world. It is illegal in the physical world to market and sell adult products to kids and teenagers. This type of legislation has already taken effect in a handful of other states, including Louisiana. Pornhub is one of the largest porn providers in the country. They told us that their traffic dropped 80% in that state, and they believe they were one of the only companies following the law. In a statement, they said in part, users just migrated to darker corners of the internet that don't ask users to verify age, that don't follow the law, that don't take user safety seriously, and that often don't even moderate content. If you uh, are not interested in selling porn to kids and monetizing it, then you shouldn't have a problem with this. McMaster is a mom and says that people can put parental blockers on certain websites. She adds that there are bigger problems the state can be dealing with. We didn't ask them to take porn away from us when we sent them to Columbus. We asked them to fix the economy. We asked them to produce results for health care. There's also a House version of this bill, one that goes further. It would charge minors with a misdemeanor if they lie about their age to watch porn. Both will likely be heard in the coming months. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trout reporting. Ohio is not the only state that's trying to crack down on pornography right now. In addition to Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Texas, Montana, Utah, Virginia, and North Carolina all have similar legislation in place that limits access to porn.